in a celebration of progress made. Lots of work around the board. The FBI has now included anti-Hindu category in, in hate crimes. And a reminder of issues still facing the community. And making a new documentary about uh, war crimes committed in Sri Lanka. Hundreds came to support the Hindu American Foundation's no, annual gala at the India Community no, no, no. Center. Among the topics front and center at HAF is the tragic case of Suresh Bhai Patel. The 57-year-old Indian grandfather left partially paralyzed after an assault by police in Madison, Alabama. Eric Parker, one of the officers involved, claimed he lost his balance and feared for his safety. The jury came back undecided three times, forcing the judge to declare a mistrial. HAF is now going to bat for Patel to ensure his rights are protected. Now this decision is extremely disappointing and we're going to continue to fight to ensure that he gets justice and make sure that we are involved going forward and ensure that this never happens again. While HAF's work in the past year focused on addressing issues from human rights to public policy, they used this year's gala to draw attention back to education. In terms of Indian Hinduism, what we're reading in these textbooks is basically the 19th century German-English construct of India, caste, karma, cows, etc. And it's not changed. It's not kept up with anything recent research. It doesn't reflect the Hindu view of itself. Uh, it doesn't reflect actual Indian history even. Not only is HAF engaged in changing the way Hinduism is taught at the national level, they are making inroads state by state as well. And we've been working with boards of education, particularly in California and Texas and in Virginia. And next month, the California Board of Education is going to release its new frameworks. And we're hoping that the work we've done over the past few years uh, will show, show up in a better standard and framework in terms of how Hinduism and India are taught. It's much easier to lobby uh, five people than this lobby, you know, 400. And so I think that if we can get, first of all, get a resolution here in Fremont, so if we lobby the three uh, school board members, get their support and get their uh, buy-in, um, then we can use that to go to different cities. HAF is among a number of groups working to give South Asians a stronger voice and accurate representation. And with U.S.-India ties strengthening, there is no time like the present to ensure the community is engaged and alert. While we've attained a great deal of success as a community, financially and otherwise, we still need to make uh, many strides in terms of being advocates for ourselves, speaking out for ourselves, and having a voice on local, national, and international issues.